I feel like I, when I'm listening to this, I'm like in a, like a tantric yoga session at Firefly Island with right. my girlfriend who's talking about she's like rubbing cocoa butter she, while and she's talking about the spirit molecule or whatever. And you're like, yes, I'm yeah. Like, Tell me, mom. And I'm like, this is the life. It is time. Tycho, you know who Tycho is? Oh, I love Tycho. You introduced Can't me to wait. Tycho. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've heard Tycho, and, and I like what I've heard. Yeah, well, he teamed up with Benjamin Gibbard from uh, Def Cab for QB, Cutie, uh, the Postal Service. My mouth won't work right now. Def Cab for QB. Like Cutie. For Cubert. <laughs> um, and then Scott Hansen, who's Tycho, he's like an electronic producer, if you don't know who he is. That sounds like a good combo, so I'm excited to hear this. Yeah, because... Tycho's last album uh, had vocals on it. I think it was like one of the first times it had vocals on it. Oh, yeah. They're um, usually instrumental, right? And he wanted to... Uh, he felt like something was missing. It was supposed to be instrumental. And um, he was like, well, maybe I should give this to somebody to see if they could do something. So he sent it to Ben Gibbard. And uh, he said the first time I heard it, it was perfect. And that's pretty much it. Let's hear that perfection. Galaxy Jams reacts. Checking out Tycho and Benjamin Gibbard. It's just a single. Came out December 2021. Only love. like wow. it yeah it has that classic tycho <laughs> oh, imagery yeah, yeah. and i think that that's one thing that he's known for is having a really really distinct visual quality to all of his yeah designs. it like looks like his albums cover art mm -hmm. but just moving and, and doing all these transitions which is not a bad look the so. other thing I, I dig is just that same tycho drum sound same tycho guitar that he he uses uh, that delayed guitar. It, it uh, almost reminds me yeah it almost reminds me of like lcd sound system right but then with Ben Gibbard singing, but similar. And then um, what? I'm getting some other vibes. But, Phoenix. Uh, yeah, Phoenix. <laughs> I gotta say Phoenix. Phoenix. Like and then um, there was something else that I was hearing, but I'll have to get back to it. But it like Ben Gibbard's voice goes really well with this type of production. So. Just in the nick of time. Oh, yeah. Very Beatles, Beatles esque. The harmony. No screaming to the sky. No restless guns. No wounds inflicted. The words again, again, something we talked about earlier, going a call back here in the show. You too. It has that U2 sound to it like we were talking about earlier. I, I definitely hear that. It's the repetition of the textures in the background that, and then against the beat that creates just a pad for the vocal to bounce off of. And I think I, it's funny to hear it out or to say it out loud, but I think U2 kind of invented that almost. Yeah, um, and even, even in the melody line he's singing. Is yeah, too. and I like how he gets really bubbly and like, um, I don't know, like, 
you kind of don't expect some of the vocal lines to go where they go. Like I think yeah. he, he and uh, it reminds me of Beck too, which I was uh, trying to say earlier. Definitely. No villains outrun. No waiting for a flame to burn. Time. The amount of delay that he puts on stuff is superb. Especially when the part, like, deserves it. Yeah, and it's know? very kind of slow. It's like one little thing that just rings out. and It just takes you in outer space. Yeah, it really gives me a Black Moth Super Rainbow vibe, actually. Yes. I can hear that. and Or, like, some flaming lips, um, like, when they get real trippy. Um, I feel like I when I'm listening to this, I'm, like, in, a, like, a tantric yoga session at Firefly Island with right. my girlfriend who's talking about, she's like... She's rubbing cocoa butter she, she's, while... And she's talking about the spirit molecule or whatever. And you're like, yes. I'm yeah. Like, tell me, mom. And I'm like, this is the life, you know? <laughs> This reminds me of Gautier, too. These are one of those albums, and most albums do, but these especially, because I've heard them over here at Mike's, um, the the vinyl, uh, when you get into the, like one of the vinyl systems, it has nice subs and everything into it. These, these songs that he does, Tycho and his sound, is just... Yeah. Amazing. And one of those things, because like I know his entire career, essentially, I'm a huge fan of Tycho, is that uh, a lot of his stuff doesn't sound, it sounds very produced and doesn't have that like raw acoustic band sound. And so I think that one thing that this song has is that acoustic drum kit where it sounds like this could be performed live as opposed to a lot of his other material, which it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. The drum kit almost has like a Tame Impala-esque like kind of quality, like that retro um, like psychedelic rock drums and uh man i really like this song i hope there's more either collabs that make sense with Tycho that are like you know that work like this or just more with ben gibbard to be honest because i really like this a lot yeah this is only Really cool. Yeah. Wow. Definitely very, very, very cool. That's one of my favorite things that we've found. And if you can see the preview of the other two videos that it's asking us to see, they have the same exact sort of motif. It's mm -hmm. really interesting how visual is as much of a medium of his release uh, as audio is. The end of that song reminded me of Making Mirrors, um, which is an album by Gautier. Okay. Um, it's what 
somebody that I used to know is on, but then the rest of the album has these like that quality where it's like, kind of like electronic synthy against um, all these like lush harmonies and God, I'm a sucker for that. I love it. Yeah, I, I truly, truly enjoyed that track. Yeah, me too. I'm a fan of every single person involved and can't wait to see more. Hey guys, you've been watching Galaxy Reacts. Now you can watch this jam. Just give us 30 seconds. Hit it, EJ. Hey.